Tony Druid is definitely a great choice for high legend players, but you are gonna have a bad time if you play it on lower ranks and face a lot of aggro. The deck is far from simple, but it can do some pretty amazing things, so if you're into that, you might want to give it a go. In this video, I will give you a quick guide about it, show you its mulligans, as well as some of my games on my road to top 100 legend with it. If you're serious about Hearthstone, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget you can hire me for some Hearthstone coaching. Now, let's check out the deck. Here's the variant I used, and it's pretty standard. We're running both the good hero power minions with the free spirit as well as the groovy cat, and with your peaceful piper, you should be able to draw one of those. But you also are running under king, which is another beast in this deck. We have aquatic form so we can find things faster. We have innervate plus nourish as our only four nature spells, so make sure to remember that when you're using your wild bloom seedsman. We have a couple of rakes so you can handle early game threats or even late game threats because once your hero powers start slapping really hard, you can deal up to seven damage with it like that. We have a couple of attorney at moss here, which you can choose either to silence a minion or give it immune this turn. And in the early turns, you might want to use silence on something like a death knight egg or something, but in the late game, you want this in order for your mishmasher to actually be a complete board clear, which is a pretty good play. We have spread the words, which usually costs you zero mana if your hero power is bumped up high enough. We have a couple of summer flower children, which do draw you a couple of your big boy cards and make sure to try to pull this off as a finale so you can actually get some discount. Tony is in here so you can actually burn the opponent's deck with the help of the jailer. And the way you do that is you have to have a decent amount of armor already, play a Nubricon, and if you're still missing a little bit of armor, Armor and the opponent actually has something big in play, you could open with under king, and that way you basically play this for minus one, but gain plus five after this dies. And depending on the opponent, you might want to play Tony first and then Jailer, or Jailer and then Tony. It all comes down to if you're expecting the opponent to actually have a board clear that will indeed kill your immune minions because they're not immune to destroy effects. So let's say if you're against the Blood Death Knight, first you want to play Tony and then Jailer so you can actually destroy his deck. And once he clears the board with his 8 mana dude, he gets back the empty deck. But if you're against the Mirror matchup, you'd rather Jailer first and then Tony because they don't really have a way to actually destroy it. We also have Zok in here, which can be crazy good, even just with your hero power, but if you actually use something like Anubricon, Under King, and then Zok, these dudes become quite quite big, like above 20 health, and depending on your hero power, they can go up to 6 as well. Depending on the matchup, if you're against aggro, you're trying to survive, so you're not really trying to pull off the Jailer combo against something like a pure paladin, let's say, but instead, you're trying to just Anubricon into, let's say, something like double Under King into Zok, and that can be insanely good on it. Own. But yeah, if you're against the Blood Death Knight, against the Control Priest, you're definitely trying to burn their deck so you can close out the game like that. In certain matchups, you can even just kill the opponent with just big hero powers over and over again because gaining plus 5 armor and plus 5 attack each turn is nothing to scoff at either. So yeah, the better you are at positioning yourself against the different matchups, the better you will be with this deck. Matchup wise, like I said, aggro is gonna be the bane of you, like Unholy, Outcast, and Pure Paladin would all be very bad matchups for you. Miracle Rogue's not too great, but as you can see, the rest is pretty decent. From Diamond to Legend, it looks even worse, and things like Totem Shaman and Undead Priest, if you manage to find one, are also gonna be bad. So yeah, if you're facing aggro, it's not the deck for that meta. For the mulligans going first and second, you probably always want your good early game minions so you can bump up your hero power wild bloom seedsman is pretty nice and if you already have wild blue seedsman or nourish you might also keep innervate if you already have innervate and seedsman though don't keep nourish because like i said you only have four nature spells so your wild bloom seedsman might actually flop like that if you're expecting an aggro deck, honestly, I think also Rake might be a good keep, even though the stats don't really support that claim, so take it with a grain of salt. And when on the coin, here's what it looks like again. Your good cheap minions are keeps, Seedsman's still great. Innervate is also not bad. Nourish, again, if you don't have Seedsman, you can keep that instead. Piper is still pretty nice. And even the Summer Child probably makes enough sense here. Rake, again, if you're expecting aggro. All around, it's far from a simple deck, but if you're up for the challenge and you enjoy the Druid class, this is probably your best bet. Now, let's check out some of my games. Hope you enjoy. Against the mirror, I guess. Guess I'm looking for the cheap beasts. Guess I'm gonna keep looking then. Okay. I mean, no, I guess Anubricon is not a horrible thing to have here, because uh, it's gonna come down to who burns the other guy's deck first, innit? 
Okay, so all I'm missing is Tony. Oh, for sure, man. Sounds like you're getting there. Another one. Okay, I think we're off to a great start. Against this guy, at least. If I was against Tagro, I would be pretty much dead right now. Yeah, it is. It's, it's like 35% or something. It's pretty bad. We all exist Under King, you dude. There you go. Yeah, you know, man. Okay. Sure. Tony, me, dude. That's silly. Yeah, why didn't I make that into a finale? I mean, I couldn't really, but... What to do? I mean... Could just try to make a Jailer tempo play here without the Tony, like... Sounds real doable. Right now I don't have the armor gains, either way. At this point, nah. Let's uh do this. Get a shit ton of armor. Yeah, this is this is definitely worth uh doing. And next turn, I can literally just tempo out a Nubrican Jailer combo without even having Tony. He doesn't really have a way to deal with that. Yeah, 
Yeah, gas boards. Maybe it wasn't a bad idea, but uh, I think this is just better next turn just tempoing a shit ton of stats like that. Sounds good to me. Slapping Jailer last turn was also not a bad idea, but I think this was fine. It would be fun if this is Bloods. The Punisher. All comes down to what I'm thinking I'm playing against. Like, uh, haven't played against this guy, right? I have played against him in 2022. He was playing Hagro. Hmm. Let's go like this. If he's Frost, I will be begging for the rake. If he's Blood, I think I'm favored as is. Yeah, exactly, board. Pretty much. Okay, looks like a frost to me. Nature speaks through my tunes. Frosty. Have a lot of ram going here. Well, so far so bad for him. Yeah, pretty much bored. Kind of didn't. I mean, they kind of did. Like, they slightly toned down the win rates for those decks, but very slightly, like, minuscule slightly. Surely that one mana bump or one less durability mattered in some of those games for those decks, but ever so slightly. It's not exactly worth though, is it? No, I think I'm just gonna do this. I think I'm saving the Nourish for card draw instead. We've already ramped two mana extra at this point. It's not like I'm doing anything amazing with the mana.
What? <laughs> wow. Took it long enough to refresh. Kinda shitty that this gives him a good marrow manipulator. God knows he's gonna have it, but it is what it is. Thank you for the follow, I lay Ovo. It's even discovered. It's only... Nah, it was five corpses. Okay... Finale. Morning, morning, King. Shit. Now he's cooking. Uh huh. Well, this guy is gonna be giving me tons of armor right now. Sent horrible. Let's. Thin out even further now. Okay. I think we got this. Getting an obscene amount of armor like that. Who here can spell Sinjari? Anybody? Yeah, let's go. Guess trading that was not a bad idea, however. Anubrakan, you say? I'm getting the extra armor. I don't give a fuck. I'm just doing it for the tempo. But uh, maybe taking that 5 extra armor was a bad idea. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Real bad real bad idea. Didn't think this through now, did I? We do have a big amount of damage though. Shit. Corn of Winter, is that you? Okay, I'm alive. Did I get him?
I got him. No, I don't got him because I don't have room. Fuck. Wait, what am I talking about, dude? I'm a dumbass. I always forget this is a battle cry. Deal two damage anyway. Whew. <laughs> I almost fucked it up a second time after we did that with Jadis. Sheesh. Okay, 138 with the meme deck. Quote unquote. That's the keep, right? I don't keep uh, Nourish. Do I? How many nature spells do I have? That ain't nature. That ain't nature. That ain't nature. Hmm. I'll keep it, but I have my doubts about it. It says it's decent, but I have my doubts about it too. Okay, we got this guy, so that's real nice. Well, second Nourish, far from the best. I guess if you have this, you don't keep Nourish. Like, that's what you're supposed to draw with it, isn't it? Especially when you already have Innervate. I done goofed up and the game's gonna punish me for it. What the hell is this? Oh, that ain't bad. Titan Renovate, don't you come. Okay. So far he ain't cocking much. Could have a potion belt, however. Annoying. Nature speaks through my tunes. Fucking hell. Okay, we now we have a new Brican at the bottom, second aquatic form. Might be for him. Wow, he drew a lot. It's kind of weird doing it like this, but if he does have location right now, that'd be crazy good for him. Can still draw it because this is a zero mana potion. Please don't. I am not mentally prepared for it. Okay. Kind of a septibule. What am I doing, man? I fucked up. I fucked up. 
I don't want him to shadow stab that shit. I shouldn't have done this. Should have played Groovy Cat, Hero Power Rake, the 4 4 kill, the 3 2 or something. Prep. He does have prep, but he's. unless he. No, he shouldn't be able to play a big boy right now. I'm hanging in there so far. Wonder what he picked there. Surely it's a Colossal. Maybe he's expecting me to have the Maw plus uh, Mishmash. Might not have picked it. Might have picked extra damage or something. Acceptable. It's a large man. Found Tony, but not much else. I'm discounted an Ubrakani in bads. All we're missing is the Jailer, basically. But we're in quite the peculiar situation right now, aren't we? Yeah, Mishmash would be great. Would have been great if I pulled one out of this. But we dodged both of them. Still have 22 shot at getting one. Can also aquatic form for one. There you go. Have a good one, play gal. Thanks again for dropping by. Okay. I'd like to point out this boy. His dinner rate important to me. I don't think much. Okay. That was basically the best spread he could have found. It's fine though. Got this. Rick's cute.
Is one extra cock really that bad for me? It's fine. <coughs> There's the jailer. I'm just gonna do this. Just swap out the deck like this, like... Um, he doesn't have anything amazing from my deck anymore, just a Mishmasher and even that's not great. Got him. Climbing chat. Back is working for me. We're having a jolly good time. Level 68, yeah. Okay, only 10 spots. Feel the power of the wild world. This sounds good. Sure. Wow, two games in a row where I have three small beasts like that. Um, maybe. Concoctor Gamer right there. I prefer post hop goblin ghouls. Fascinating. Kind of feels wasteful using Rake here, but I think it's fine. It's not the Miracle Rogue of the past. They're not that, that scary anymore. Not in my kitchen. Not in my kitchen. Oh, okay. Yeah, good luck with the crater. Oh, didn't I play against you? Anu Dorini Chala. Yeah, ETC definitely feels a bit slow in it. Can definitely put more versatility into it, but it's kinda slow. I prefer post hop goblin ghouls.
If that turns out to be objection, I'm gonna be mighty sad. I think I'll go like this. Waste this dude. Oh no. And finale his ass off. Okay. I think this was good. Yeah, it's not a bad idea indeed, boards. Is that a Teotar? Oh, dirty dick. You got fucked, idiot. Can shadow step it if I let him. Do I ever tempo? Can't even do it. Hmm. Maybe. It's a bit scary, but maybe. I don't know. That, was, that felt a little bit weaker than it should, though. Our gift of us. <laughs> but uh, maybe I just go for the jailer soon. Sounds like a plan. Might regret that. Probably wouldn't. Sounds like a game plan indeed. Didn't really have a good answer there. Got him. Okay, I guess it was MVP, especially with a fat hero power like this. Okay, good hand. Can't keep that. Can even keep the second Seedsman. I think two is... A bit too hard. Job done. Yikes. Has to be a fucking fast one too. You can refresh now, you can grab the code from it. Mm, you have to be finishing really high. Can't remember how high you need to finish, but really high. Okay, free spirit is cute. I think top 16 finish or something. Something along those lines. Mm, there's that seedsman I wanted. Yeah, 
Shat. Shat. Well, he's curving out like an absolute god now, isn't he? Absolute freaking god. It's unbelievable how well he curved out, though. <clears throat> I think I gotta draw three cards and pretend I'm getting the rake. Do I? I mean, I'm gaining a lot of armor through this. Plus three armor. I think I'm gonna do this. If I get Innervate, which I should, it's even one extra. There we go. Six off. Okay, you can take a breath. But not for long, because next turn we're eating dick. Do I just kill the one five? I do, right? Like, why wouldn't I? I mean, I guess the reason was I could actually kill this on demand a bit better. Okay, it doesn't have the seven mana. Lovely. Gaining 5 with the hero power, very, very valuable for me. Obliterate, thanks. Kinda passionate for that. So... Couple of 2 sixes, right? Do I kill the 4-2 or do I let him discover? I mean, I can't even kill it. What am I talking about? I'm gonna kill the Noggling, so he has to make a trade if he wants to activate a Vizier. Still listening. Oh, never mind. It's just over. Should help. A new Bracon. Quarter form again.
gives me tons of armor. Okay, we do this. A little bit of this. A whole lot of this. Under King me, dude. No fucking under king. Um, can do the combo, but it leaves me down to five health. I'm not passionate about that. Okay, next time I do this, it's guaranteed under king mishmash, and I can under king into the five five. I think that's the better play here. Okay. Don't have the seventh por favor. You are not prepared. We're actually pulling this out of the gutter, chat. Still looking fuzzy. Real fuzzy. It's down to the it's not even down to the top deck. I mean I am hero powering for five, so that's great. Um, he still needs the seven to kill me. I do this and I clear everything like that. Would have been great if he missed this 6 one, not gonna lie. Hmm. Oh, that battle doesn't trigger that way. This makes sense. Don't have the 7 por favor, that's all I'm asking. Anything else? Got him. Oh my goodness, insane chat. Do you remember in the shitstorm we found ourselves on turn freaking 5? Unbelievable. Sheesh! What a game. What a gamer. Yeah, he was the lucky bastards with the blood DK. Not prepared. I'm blind. Okay. Thank you for the follow, KKJR. Wrong with this. Anu Dorini Chala. Wait, this guy's a thirty blood death knight. Yeah, pure belly frost death knight. They're both uh, really great decks to climb fast. Your third time. Point it out next turn. Hmm, 
I don't want him to snag my uh, Anubra Khan, but... Probably will. I'm helping him in doing that right now, but I don't know. It's a 50-50. It's even better for him uh, than a 50-50 to find my Anubra Khan right now, because Under King is the same card, so it discovers single time. Uh, I'm just listening to YouTube, man. Here you go. This is what we're currently listening to. Miss Monique, definitely a very, very solid choice. It's turn 5 going into turn 6 with coin turn 7 for this man. If I tempo out a couple of Under Kings and the Groovy Cat, is that horrible? Shouldn't be able to deal with most of them right now. I don't know, man. I think he's not prepared for this tempo play. He only has two corpses. Are you physically and mentally prepared for this? Ass. Double fucking ass. That's no good. Okay. I don't hero power right now, that feels weak sauce. This is guaranteed innervate. Can't coin out the destroyer right now. Doesn't. Gonna rig that shit. That's jerk. Sure. Would have loved it if he missed there. Is he dead? Ain't you dead? It's fucking one off, man. I fucked up, I missed lethal, yeah, I could have killed my own fucking cat. Not you, Lucy, chill. Fuck me, dude. Crap. I fucked it up. We all exist in fucking hell. Ugh. Rake can target your own shit, guys. Don't forget. Had to attack first, rake it, hero power it, exactly for fuck me, dude. I don't think he wanted to do that. GG. Okay. 
Okay. I had a moment of brilliance tempoing out against him, and I had a moment of dumb fuck after that as well. But all around, good stuff, good stuff. Deck feels feels cool, but definitely needs a specific meta, doesn't it? If you're seeing a lot of pure pallies, you're gonna have a very bad time, and from Diamond to Legend, you see a lot of those, don't you? Also, Totem Shaman murdering you. But even things like Miracle Rogue and Outcast Demon Hunter are pretty hard for you, so... Uh, 